Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into Big Brother. They voted somebody out last night. Let's go. So you know, these are the three that's on the block. Angela, Tucker, and Lisa. One of them is going home and one of them is coming off the block. Tucker wasn't tripping when he was talking to Chelsea. He was like, because he put himself, he told her that he would put himself on the block. So he made himself a pawn. He was not worried about being on the block. But I think his reasoning for being on the block is because he wants Lisa out so bad that he is willing to fall on this sword. Y'all, Angela, as much as we are ready for Angela to go, and I know we are because we've talked about it in the comments, what we're going to do when she leaves? Because Angela gets it popping in this house right and i think that because of the way she does it she's a good like cover up a good diversion because everybody else is moving certain ways back here but you can't even see it because she is so unhinged and just a mess in the house she is a good decoy she is a good decoy so after they finish hugging and going on the next day or whatever, Tucker has gone outside with Lisa. He said, I'm going outside with Lisa to let her know I know she has the power and I know she voted for Matt to stay, right? So he's calling it out. I know you got the upgrade. She was like, I don't have the upgrade. I didn't vote for Matt. This got me. Tucker said he studied with the CIA to go undercover and he can read body language and <laughs> He could tell how tense she is that she is lying. He was like, I know you're lying. I don't know if y'all watching this this season, but it's good. So they're out in the yard. Joseph stays in the pool, right? Do you still prefer for Angela to go? Angela is always at the top of the list because she's going to start something. Quinn really wants Angela to go because he did what I said you shouldn't do is talk about your powers day one. And now he's stressed out because he's in all these alliances. He's told Angela that he has this particular power. Then Angela says if she gets voted out on her way out, she's telling everything. And this is why I said when you have these power ups or you have these powers, you should not be telling anybody anything because they will use it against you. She says she's going to let everybody know what's going on. So she is outside with Tucker. Tucker has gone around the house saying that he thinks Lisa has the upgrade and she voted for Matt. Now he is halfway right. She did vote for Matt to stay, but she does not have the upgrade. So what does Angela do? I don't think that, and I don't think Lisa has it. I think it's Quinn. So Tucker is sitting here like, no, nah, I don't think it's Quinn. She was like, but I think it is. There's so much I want to say. I will blow this house up if I leave. I want to stay. Angela is nuts. So Angela is like, I just don't want to hold my tongue anymore, right? And she was like, I just want to use this for leverage. But as long as I can stay in the game. Now he's sitting there listening. He hears her talk about him and his game, right? She was like, my intuition is just telling me something different. You never talk about the powers you have in the game. So then Tucker, Joseph, um, I want to call the girl Regina. I'm just going to call her R and Lisa are talking in the unicorn room, right? They're talking about how Angela is and Joseph is like she's putting herself out of the game. Look at her. And this is what they're saying in the room. Fortunately, she's made it easy for us this week. That's one silver lining. And oh my goodness, then they start coming out of the room. So then Lisa's the last person and she starts following Lisa. Hold on. So she starts making fun of how Lisa walked. So Lisa did a double back. She was like, uh, I guess imitation is the best form of flat. So then they go into the room and they get their clothes. So they have their names on them. So Angela brought Tucker his clothes. He's in the shower. So then Lisa bounces her little self in there. And Angela's like, I already got it. So she was like, oh, whatever. And as Lisa's walking out, Angela said, I'm sure you do, you little twit. <laughs> oh my God, what does that even mean? So Lisa is highly disrespected. Like, she's like, don't say that to me. Don't call me that, right? And then she does this. <laughs> Y'all, this, this is Lisa over in the corner. Child, she is devastated. 
So everybody comes to check on her. Here is Mackenzie. She's like, oh my goodness, what's wrong? And by that time, everybody's in the storage room. And she's just so devastated. Like, she is torn to pieces. At this point, Lisa should... Lisa feels harassed. And she should. Because I don't know what it is about Lisa, but Angela has it out for her. Then Chelsea said, at this point, can we send both Angela and Lisa home? Because they are unhinged. Like, Lisa's over here crying. Angela's over here bothering Lisa, making her cry. And I literally did not think Angela's game would be like this. I had no idea. So now they're in the AI arena, right? And the first person who completes this puzzle is going to be able to take themselves off the block. And this is what the puzzle should look like at the end. Tucker wins, takes himself off of the block. So now we got Angela and Lisa on the block. <laughs> I don't think Angela had even made the turn where you have to sink some of them in together. I don't even think she had done that. And she's like, unbelievable. It is unbelievable how you never complete a competition. So now the house guests are waiting to see who has taken themselves off the block and who is going to be on the block. Child, when they see that it's Tucker, they are screaming hallelujah. Like, they are so happy that Tucker is off the block. Like, everybody in the house. And although everybody is very happy in the house that Tucker is off the block, Lisa is very confident and Angela is very worried. Let's see how this goes. Before we see how it goes, poor Cedric. <laughs> like... <laughs> Angela has worried this baby so tough. He, <laughs> I can't even. Y'all, you got to watch it. In Angela's speech, I would have voted for her. Because she had got on my nerves so bad with this speech. She was so extra, so loud. Right? But she thanked every, the house guests. She thanked CBS. And she thanked her family. Now, Lisa got up here. And although she wasn't extra... Her speech was extra. Lisa tends, I understand why Tucker doesn't like her. She tends to say things that get under your skin, right? Like the reason Tucker thought she had the upgrade power is because she just wants to remind everybody there's a power in play. Be quiet. You know, and she was like, I want everybody to um, honor what they said that they would do and blah, blah, blah. And everybody's looking at her like, okay. But I understand why he is tired of her. Child, Lisa went home on a vote of 11 to 1. The entire house voted for her except Kenny. Two things. Either Kenny wasn't in the conversation about voting for Lisa, or Kenny just didn't care and he was going to vote for Angela. Either way, if it was the, if it was, the fact that he's not in the conversation with everybody, Kenny needs to start communicating. He needs to start talking game because he's left a vote of 11 to 1 and he's been left out. Like I said, I don't know. I didn't see it. So I don't know if he said, nah, I don't care what y'all do. I'm voting for Angela. Or he sent back there like, oh my God, am I the only one that voted for Lisa? And now how they gonna find out? Because if he didn't tell them that this was his vote anyway. Now they looking at him like, oh, okay. You need to check that, Kenny. She is so happy, right? She is over the moon. Now, when Lisa was out there talking to Julie, Lisa is stunned because she realizes now that everybody lied to her. She is really stunned. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.